What's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room review. Now this one's going to be a little bit different because even though I just picked up this cabinet just uh, I think it was like three weeks ago at this point. Uh, I actually reviewed this cabinet over a year ago or maybe it was just about a year ago that this cabinet first came out. Uh, some of you may know that I was invited out to Arcade 1UP's uh, store or like warehouse facility uh, office location if you will down here in Miami as you guys can see I live down here in South Florida and they invited me to the like grand reveal opening party of NFL Blitz. So that was a really cool experience. I got to check out NFL Blitz firsthand the first day it was announced and that was awesome. I fell in love with the cab then. It's been on my most wanted list or like my grail list if you will of cabs that I definitely need to have. I just wasn't really willing to shell out the five six hundred dollars that it costs. Well as you guys have saw in I think it was my last video or video before that I went to Ollie's and picked this up on discount for three hundred dollars and I have been uh, just so happy about it and haven't had as much time to play it honestly if I would have liked obviously you guys may know that I have a newborn so my time is kind of limited but I, any chance that I get I pick up and play this and that is one feature that I love about this cabinet and I guess at this point we're just gonna get straight into the review this is all unscripted I just want to give my thoughts and opinions on this cabinet a year later non-biased because this is not arcade one up invited me to their party this is just me owning the cab for myself, spending my own money on it, and my own thoughts and opinions. So that's the one thing that I love about this cab so much is that it's just so easy to just go ahead and pick up and play. Anytime I'm walking by, I have, what is it, like five minutes to spare to play a game? Just go in, play, have some fun, and then move on. Um, I mean, I guess with the other cabs that I have in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and the Street Fighter cab and also Final Fight, it's pretty easy to do that as well, but I don't get as much uh, enjoyment out of it as I do with this one. I don't know why, just the fighting games, I'm not really trying to pick up and play against a computer those are more so when I have friends over and I want to play like local multiplayer with this one I have no problem playing against a computer but the gameplay experience does get um uh like ramped up if you have local friends playing like local multiplayer here that experience is just so much more entertaining I have yet to dive into the online like deep dive into it really I've been waiting to do a live stream to play with you guys who also have this cabinet so look forward to that at some point in time whenever I get a little bit of free time I do want to do a live stream and play against you guys live on here and uh, unlike Marvelous Capcom 2 that you guys completely destroyed me in uh, I'll, I'll have a little bit of a fighting chance of NFL Blitz I, I'm a lot better at NFL Blitz than I am the fighting games now I'm not terrible but compared to you guys like you guys are just absolutely insane uh, but yeah so that's like one of the biggest features about it and the other feature about it that I love even though it's not like completely arcade accurate as far as the design with the side panels I still love the design of this cabinet it's just so beautiful the blues on here are just so nice and vibrant the only complaint and this is like just the cabinet overall the only complaint that I have is this washed out marquee as you can see here this is not like an angle of the camera or the studio lights that I have in here the marquee actually does look that washed out the screen does not the screen is kind of an angle thing right now but that marquee sucks so I did order a brand Brand new replacement marquee I don't know when that's supposed to be here I think sometime in October so I am looking forward to that because that is like my only complaint about this cab but other than that everything else is beautiful from the artwork to the, the colors of the buttons and uh, the the fake coin doors down here the riser even looks great so I, I cannot like say enough good things about the way this cabinet looks and I don't really mind the side art not being like completely arcade original I think it's okay the way it is I honestly don't have a problem with it uh, and it's got some of my favorite football players on there obviously Dan Marino Miami Dolphins you also have Shannon Sharp on the side. I think you have um, Glenn Rice on one of the sides as well. So some pretty awesome legends on this cabinet. And I mean, th that is the name of this cabinet is uh, the NFL Blitz Legends Cab, right? So it only makes sense that you have the legends on the side. Um, overall, also the gameplay visually, I think is this is probably the best looking as far as like just graphics and this has nothing to do with like rk one up doing anything special it's more so just the game itself but the game just looks beautiful it looks stunning it, i think this is one of the more demanding games that rk one up has done and emulation gameplay everything runs smooth uh not having late hits like i said in my original review it does not bother me not having the late hits obviously yeah it'd be funny to see it there but once you play a match or two you get over it i mean it's it's not game breaking not having the late hits there now i know so some purists and, and some people out there like that is still like a, a no-no for them that if it's not like arcade original how it originally was then it's not worth it me honestly i don't care yes they were fun yes they were entertaining to do the late hits but it lasts like two seconds after a play and then you're on to the next one but the core gameplay everything is all there uh so honestly that does not bother me too much at all and i really can't say anything bad about this cab other than the marquee 
garbage marquee but everything else about this cabinet is awesome my opinions about this cab are still exactly the same as they were when i originally did my review a year ago um absolutely nothing has changed since i've had it if anything it made my love for the cab uh that much like grow that much more now that i actually own it because before i only got to play it like really quickly for like you know 30 minutes more or less at this big event whereas here i, I get to play it all the time so uh, if anything i'm falling more and more in love with it now that i have more time to play it um the only other like downside i have and this is kind of like a like a manufacturing issue i guess is uh this joystick right over here which you guys can't see let me uh turn the camera this joystick right over here for some reason um, it just doesn't screw on properly. Uh, uh, let me uh, do I'll do a close-up video like some b-roll or whatever that I can show you But yeah, this this joystick here compared to all the other ones the other ones all screw down this fine This one does not screw down It's like something internally is messed up and it's not the actual bat top itself because I swapped it out with other bat tops and stuff like that And that wasn't an issue um, And like I tried missing mat mix matching things I put like the bat top from the other side on here I took bat tops from other cabinets on here. So it's not the actual bat top itself it's like the actual like stick or the, the I don't I don't know what's exactly wrong with it but at the end of the day I honestly don't even really care too much because I, the chances of me playing like four players all the time let me just fix that it's a little bit better right there but the chances of me playing like four players all the time and actually using that joystick is very slim to none a majority of the time I'm either going to be playing by myself or at max one other person I don't think I'm gonna have four people on here I mean it's still usable like there's nothing wrong with it. it's not going anywhere but you do notice that it's not like it just doesn't sit right if that makes any sense it's like a little bit crooked a little bit angled uh, so that's just like one other issue I had but that's more of like a QC issue it's not like a, a general issue that everybody's going to run into and um, I think I think that's my general overall thoughts and opinions on it uh, I mean it, it's great uh, nothing nothing bad to say about it. it sounds great plays great looks great emulates great which is the big thing you know you want to make sure that the emulation is good and with how demanding this game is um you know i previously said the marvel vs capcom 2 might be one of the more graphically intense games that they've done but i actually think that this along with probably like time crisis coming up as well but i think this is going to be um almost like one of the more graphically intense games that you can do and i mean they did it the 49 way joystick i believe is the the exact number that feels great everything feels great on here you're not going to find me saying anything bad about this cab so long story short to make the to cut this video off right here is that i absolutely love this cabinet i could not recommend it enough even at 600 if you have that kind of money to spend it is definitely like worth it at that price it's just not something that i was willing to pay but at the 300 mark that you can find in these everywhere so if you have like a ollie's in your area check out like my my giant haul video that I did about that. Uh, if you have all these in your area and you're interested in picking this up, as well as some other cabinets are showing up there, definitely check them out. Um, and yeah, I, I think that's it. I'm starting to ramble on just because I just have so much love for this cabinet. I'm so excited to finally have it in my collection. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was kind of like a weird, random, new type of style of video, just like a follow-up video. I don't think I've ever done that before. But a year later, this cab, definitely worth it. Definitely still great. And uh, I think one of the better RK 1UP cabs that you can uh, pick up. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. And I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, stay tuned for more. And I'll see you guys next time.